So why did I quit making videos at Prairie Sports Village? You might have known four years ago, me and Pete Finch moved over to Prairie Sports Village. We set up a golf academy called Quest Golf Academy. Much younger faced <laughs> Ricky Shields made many, many a video from Prairie and absolutely loved it. Over the years, it's been an incredible home, a great teaching base, a great filming studio, filmed big productions there from things like Monday Night Golf Show to plenty and plenty of reviews and tests. And I absolutely loved coaching there and I coached many, many golfers from all around the world. Like guys from America used to come in for coaching and all around Europe and all around the UK and I absolutely loved it. So it felt wrong to have a base when I wasn't coaching as much anymore. And it's such a good facility and it should be used for coaching. So we decided to give the keys back, me and Pete Finch, we're not gonna be coaching there anymore. Actually, you might have seen recently in a video, Paul McAvoy with all the Scotty Cameron putters, he's gonna take it on. And I'm excited to see what he does with the place. Cause like I say, it deserves to be used all the time. And just me and Pete for one reason or another, just wasn't using it as much. And before you ask, no, me and Pete have not fallen out. We're gonna be doing many more videos again in the future. Um, but just that time in our lives, like I say four years, having that golf academy, unfortunately has come to an end. Now, if you're in the area of Burnley, go and drop into Prairie Sports Village. Wes and the team there are doing an incredible job. The food's amazing, the driving range is amazing, and it's definitely worth a visit. Now, I still need a facility to do indoor testing, to test the latest and greatest golf equipment. Now, you might have seen earlier on in the year, when we first had the original lockdown, I built a home simulator. One man band did a decent job setting up something where I could hit at home. Now, six months later, I've had a bit of time to refresh it, to do it properly. And now I want to introduce you to Rick Shields Home Simulator 2.0. And this is it, the home simulator. I'm excited to show you around. As I mentioned earlier, the first time I did my home simulator, it was more just, I needed something there and then. I didn't put loads and loads of effort into it. I just needed something instantly. Well, now I've had a bit more time to do it properly. And now this is gonna be my permanent filming location for when I do indoor testing for YouTube, Facebook, etc. I wanted to get it just right. Let me show you around. So this is it. Rick Shields Home Simulator 2.0. A few things I've changed to make it look so much better. So much sharper in my opinion, cleaner, fresher. It actually looks like it's meant to be here now. Check out those now don't they look good now, remember last time i was getting close to a million subscribers we, we hadn't reached it well this is it the gold one million youtuber plaque proudly taking center stage that's my hundred thousand plaque got that many years ago now and also youtube send you a nice little letter and we decided to get one in gold as well basically saying the top line you're bigger than Vancouver, you're bigger than Venice, you're even bigger than Las Vegas. <laughs> so they look really cool up there now. Uh, I've had all these boxed in. So if you remember before, you could see my fridge freezer, that's hidden, my dryer hidden, extra storage hidden. So you don't see any of that now. Uh, I've got my little charging station for all my cameras and everything I film with. Uh, that's currently in my camera bag, that's where I charge everything up. I've got this shelving. Yeah, I've had this before, but I've had it even I've done it better. Some of my golf shoes down there, some of my favorite ones, Air Max 97s in silver and white. Got loads of Air Jordan. Some of them I've never even worn. Um, Nike Infinity Tour. So Nike Air Max 1s, loads of those. Absolutely love that. My little uh, souvenir <laughs> merchandise, shelf to degree. I had some of these made ages ago. Rick Shields head covers and practice bags and head covers. Let me know, should I do some merch? <laughs> I do fancy doing some, this might be the start. I've got some really cool course planners here. These are like from the open, players edition, yardage books. Uh, obviously not me being a player, but ones that I've had in the past. Some really cool Wentworth, Sawgrass, some of my favorite golf courses, some of my reading materials, some of my books that I have. Rick Shields towels, some of my favorite Garmin products, obviously. 
Uh, these are cool as well, like Ryder Cup head covers, British Masters, Sawgrass, the Open, and who remembers this day? The YouTube Golf Day at Formby Hall. This was, seems like a long time ago now. Some of the signatures from all the creators that played in it, the lanyard we had made for it and everything. I mean, what a day. And these Pro Vs actually have the YouTube Golf Day logo. And we gave these balls out to all the competitors playing in the day. There's actually not many of those in the world, if you ever find one. So loads of signatures there. Little bits of uh, memorabilia when I played in the BMW went with Pro Am with Beef and John Arnarisa and Martin Thomas, who was the competition winner, and myself. And also when I played in the Saudi Pro Am with Matt Wallace and a couple of uh, other competitors, my bib, Shields bib from the BMW, my Masters Cup, <laughs> currently filled with darts because, you might see it before, still got a dartboard in here, obviously. Uh, open flag, all of my Nike carps. You might have seen these in many, many videos in the past. That's where they all live. And then, this is cool, all my lanyards from all of the different things I've been to over the years. BMW PGA Championship, MasterCard ones, Ryder Cup, look at this one. How cool is that? The Open, accredited TV camera. <laughs> Very official. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got BMW ones as well, passes. Look at that picture, eh? It's a bit scratched on that one, but loads of really cool from Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Unbelievable. Really, really cool little bits and bobs. So really like that shelf. I want to add a bit more to it, but all in all, it looks pretty good. Also going to be filming Facebook videos on here. By the way, if you've not checked out my Facebook page yet, make sure you do. We're fast approaching a million followers on Facebook, 733,000 followers on Facebook. And this is going to be where we record the podcast. If you've not listened to me and Guy on the podcast, make sure you do. You can check it out on Apple, Spotify, Amazon, wherever you get your podcast from. Number one podcast in golf, everybody. Go and check it out. We release new podcasts every single Tuesday. And then the simulator screen. My good friends at Golf Base UK set me up with this. They actually gave me the other one as well. Uh, but this one is now a slightly flatter version. It, the old one used to kind of come out quite a bit, but now this is flusher to the wall. Love the image on that. Still got the same projector if anybody's interested in what it is, the Epson. Really nice image on that. That looks a lot cleaner. I really like that screen. Add a new mat, or certainly this section of the mats. This is a teeing ground now, and it's also a slightly softer material, which I'm a big fan of. Big things, TV on the wall. That's just showing some random drone footage from Apple TV at the moment, which I'm sure it'll change. I've also had the roof raised. Now, before it was an okay height to swing a golf club, but now I had time to do it, I did it properly. So I've now got this much height above me to swing now, and that's pretty decent for a driver shot where I can hit driver as hard as I want in here. And then the software, still using GC Quad launch monitor, which I, in my opinion, is the best. And the software, the Foresight software, I've got loads of golf courses loaded onto here as well now. Car Newsteer, Celtic Manor, Pebble Beach, Royal Lytham. That's a cool little course, the pitch and putt course as well. So loads of videos I can do in here as well. Got a few more bits over here. Masters chair, which I brought back from the Masters when I went a couple of years ago. A workout bench with all the right intentions. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. My own clubs, obviously I use them um, when I'm filming or whatever. Clubs that I've recently tested, these Wilson irons, which are very, very nice, I must admit. Mizuno wedges I tested recently, Kirkland wedges. The putters you might have seen from the putter videos that I did. I bought, I actually ended up buying these two, The Art of Putting. And also, Diamonds are the girl's best friend. I might give this one to one of my daughters in the future. And that is the one that the competition winner won. It's the uh, limited edition one of 500. I think we've picked the winner for that now. It was picked on the 16th of November. Reviews of these as well. Lab putters, really cool. That's the 48 inch shaft that I use in the uh, 48 inch shaft video. A couple of cool bags that I had done from uh, Caddy Golf. They're really smart, aren't they, as well? And then last but not least, I've also had a little putting green installed in my garden, just somewhere where I can still do putting videos or test putters. Nothing massive, but a really nice addition so that I can make more films at home. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you smash like. Loads of videos coming your way very soon. And that is my home simulator 2.0. And I think I'm in love with it. We'll see you next time.